In this video for Reaper, I'm going to show you how you can assign your most commonly used effects chains to keyboard shortcuts. So this is a really good way of just simplifying the process and taking it one step further where you can assign it with a simple key press. So let's take a look at how we can do that right now. So for this technique to work, you need to make sure you've got the SWS SNM extensions installed in Reaper. Now it's completely free, just download the version that's applicable to your operating system, 32-bit, 64-bit or Mac. Install that and everything is good to go. Once you've done that and you've got that set up, what we need to do is jump over to the extensions panel and come down to resources. Now inside resources, we've got a whole range of different resources we can access and we can do different things with. What we're looking for specifically is the effects chain. If you don't have that, just make sure you drop down the little list and simply choose effects chain from the options. We've then got these two icons on the left hand side. The one we're looking for is the first one, which is the autofill effects chains. So we can click on that and that'll look through all of the effects chains you've got saved or created inside Reaper. Now, if you're not used to creating effects chains, I've got a video to that. And I'll put a link in the description and a link in the top corner right now. So you can click and take a look at that once this video is finished. So you can get up to speed on how to create your own effects chains. But providing you've got that done, this now will load in all the effects chains you've got set up. If you're unsure or if it doesn't load anything in, you may need to set up where you saved your effects chains to. To access that, if you're not sure where it is, simply go to create a new effects chain in the method provided in the video in the description below. And what you'll do is that'll show you exactly where that location is. And you can then access that to point the SWS extensions to where that's located on your system. So providing you've done that, we've now got in this example, three slots pre-filled with the different effect chains that I've got set up. So slot one, two, and three with different ones. So once we've done that, we're good to go. We finished with that option. So we can close that down. We can now come up to the actions list and we can say show actions list. Once we're in there, we now need to go through and start searching for the options that we want to apply. So let's do that next. So with the actions panel open, we can now go through and start filtering out and search for the actual function or action that we want to apply. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in effects chain and you can see that now goes through and shows us all the effects chain related shortcuts or actions we can apply. So anything that's got a shortcut will be listed on the left hand side. Then there's the description of what the actual action is. So you can see we've got a ton of options that are preceded with SWS SNM. So these are the ones that are going to tie into what we just set up inside the, ex so the extension section. So we've got a range of different options and you can see we've got things like auto save effects chains and delete last effects chain slot file and so on. What we are looking for is the option where we've got the slot one, two, three, and so on. So you can see that we've got things like resources, paste, replace, effects chain to selected items, slot one. So slot one relates to the first slot in the presets or the effects chains that we've just now configured through the extension section. I hope that kind of makes sense to you. So what we're looking to do is we've got options to do replace or just apply. Now the difference between these is if we just use the, the paste without the replace option, whatever effects are already applied to that particular track or take, depending on how we set it up, will have the extra ones that are part of the slot one, two or three and so on applied on top. So let's just say, for example, you've got an EQ in there and you've got an EQ as part of your effects chain. Well, you might apply it and you end up with two lots of EQ. So just be careful with that. You also have the option then, which is the replace version of paste. What that will do is if there's anything in there, it'll get rid of all the effects applied to that particular track or take and replace them with whatever is in slot one, two or three that we've set up as part of the effects chain. So obviously this comes down to how you want to configure things. For me, I want to use the replace option to make sure that when I apply this effects chain with my keyboard shortcut, I'm going to just have that applied to it and nothing is going else going to be in there that may cause confusion. So to do that, We've got SNM resources, paste, replace, effect chain to selected items, slot one, or we've got the same for selected tracks. So for me, I'm going to use the tracks option. So what I need to do is click on that, and now I'm going to apply a keyboard shortcut to it. So I'm going to click on add. That allows me now to put my keyboard shortcut in, and for me, I'm going to use alt and one. So alt and one will be my first slot, alt and two, my second, alt and three, third, and so on, if I add more slots. You can use whatever keyboard shortcuts you want. Obviously, if there's something already associated with that keyboard shortcut, Reaper will pop up, tell you what that is, and ask you, do you want to override it? For me, I'm happy with the Alt 1, 2, and 3. That works great for me. So I'm going to click on OK on there. I'm then going to do the same on the next one. Add, 
This one's going to be Alton 2. And then finally on the third one, because I've only got three effect slots on the add, and we're going to do Alt and 3. Click OK on that. I've now set up my keyboard shortcuts to do exactly what I want on there. So I can now close this down. So you can see at the moment I've got no effects applied on this particular track. So when I select it, all I need to do now is use my keyboard shortcut to assign that effects chain to this particular track. So let's test that out. All we need to do is select the track, press Alt and 1 to apply the first effects chain from slot 1. And as you can see now, if I open this up, there's all the effects that I've applied that are part of my effects chain. Now, unfortunately, there's a couple of options on here that are not actually still installed on my system. Don't worry about that. It's not important. But what I want to show you now is because we use the replace option, if I now do Alt and 2, which will then replace all these with my second slot effects chain, these will all be replaced. So let's just do that. So we'll do Alt and 2. And after a second or two, you can see now that's changed and replaced all of the different effects in there. And I can do the same again with Alt and 3. And you can see completely different effects chain associated with it. So a really quick and easy way of being able to apply effects chains without having to sort of right click and choose it from a drop down list. And when you have a lot, it can get a little bit unwieldy. Now, the thing you have to bear in mind when you're doing this is when you create a new uh, effects chain, it's not automatically populated inside the extension and inside the resources. So you'd have to come in here and you'd have to use this option again to make sure that you load that new effects chain in. And then you can go through the same process of applying this through the actions and applying it to any keyboard shortcut you want. And that's really all there is to it. A really quick and easy way of creating your own effects chains and then applying them through a keyboard shortcut to any track that's currently selected. And also how to quickly and easily override whatever's in there with a different set of options. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified of every new video that's uploaded to the channel. If you've got any effects change or anything like this that you've set up yourself, please let us know about those in the comment section below. I'd love to see exactly what you're doing with this kind of method because it's incredibly powerful and has almost infinite possibilities of what could be done. So share with everybody exactly what you're doing with your particular action sets. Well, until next time, happy mixing.